Hey everyone, so today we're going to be talking about ways to promote healthy hair growth, how to grow your hair faster, keep it healthier. But before we start, I want to thank my sponsor for today, Dossier. Um, I did get three colognes this time, it's not perfume because I was thinking about CJ. Now, one of my favorite perfumes, before I show you the colognes, is this one right here, the Flora Marshmallow. I absolutely love these. Um, this company has designer scents without the markups, affordable price, smells good all day long. Um, I get several compliments. It's like literally a fraction of the price that you would pay for expensive brands. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started really quickly. The first scent I got was called Powdery Tobacco right here. And I went ahead and sprayed this on the little cards that come with it so that I can smell it. This one smells okay, but I'll have to give these to CJ and see what his reaction is. So the second one I have right here is called Citrus Ginger. This one smells really good. It smells like fresh, but masculine at the same time. I have Aromatic Anise Star. I hope I said that. Star Anise. This one smells good. The last two I really, really like. So I was actually in Walmart the other day and I saw these over there in the perfume section. It was behind the lock glass, but I'm gonna insert a picture cause I was like, wow, there's Dossier. Um, I, I'm a sponsor, I mean, they're a sponsor for my videos and everything. So um, it was really exciting to see them in there. But if you get them from Walmart, then you can't use my coupon code to get an additional discount. So I'm gonna leave my discount code down in the description box in the comment box in case you would like to check these scents out or any of their other scents out. I I've only had like such an awesome experience from this company now moving on to the video all right so I do have my notes here so I'm gonna be looking down occasionally all right so the first tip is eating a healthy diet of course you want to eat fresh fruits vegetables your hair is mostly made of protein so you want to eat protein sources like um, lean meats eggs we have dairy products um, beans things like that you just want to make sure to eat the best you can to get the you know the minerals and the nutrients that you need that can also be delivered to your hair and also your nails all right so the second one is deep conditioning your hair of course that's going to make your hair more manageable more softer um, depending on what kind of deep conditioner you use it can also build up the protein in your hair so your hair could be stronger so deep conditioning is just a really good way to get that moisture in your hair help your hair to stay good and strong and like keep prevent your hair from drying out basically all right so the next one is try to avoid heat as much as possible um, of course, if you use too much heat, you're going to be more prone to breakage, damaging your hair, you know, it could also make you not have length retention. So you'll think that your hair is not growing, but it is, you're just not retaining length. So definitely when you use heat, um, use the heat protectant and just try not to use, try to like, normally I use heat. I do blow dry on each wash day, but I don't always flat iron. So, you know, just use heat, you know, know what your hair can handle, basically. All right, the next one is you wanna either use a silk or satin bonnet, scarf, or pillowcase. And sometimes I get tired of wearing um, my bonnets and my scarves and stuff, so I do have a, a satin or silk pillowcase on my bed. So in case I just don't feel like wearing it, I still know that my hair will be protected and that's gonna help your hair not to dry out as well. Another tip is to massage your scalp regularly. Now, I normally do this on my wash days, but of course you can also do it on any day of the week or if you're like moisturizing your scalp or oiling your scalp, just a nice little scalp massage, you know, and it really will get the blood flowing. And when the blood is flowing, it's gonna deliver oxygen and then that's gonna help promote hair growth. And that's what we want. All right, so the next tip is taking a multivitamin that has the biotin supplement in it as well so I like to take um, a multivitamin that has it in there or you can just take the biotin supplement by itself but I do notice like when I do take the vitamins that contain biotin my hair it, it grows faster it's stronger and also my nails this one right here is broken but my nails normally don't grow this long like here like they grow they grow shorter than this one and then it breaks off so to have my nails like growing like that because i've been taking my vitamins regularly i can definitely tell a difference and i can definitely tell a difference in my hair um 
my hair like length and retention and the rate that it's growing as well. All right, the next tip is to avoid tight hairstyles. Anything that's gonna pull at your scalp, your edges, um, anything that's just a lot of friction. You wanna try to avoid those as much as possible. Of course, every now and then you're gonna have a ponytail or a bun or some braids or something like that, but also let your hair breathe, let it down, you know, just try to keep the tension off because the more tension, the more of a risk of breakage and damage and things like that, and we definitely don't want that. The next tip is to shampoo your hair less often. Um, when I say less often, I mean like maybe like once a week. If you need to do twice a week, maybe think about co-washing that second time. But if you do it, if you shampoo a lot, it could strip your hair. It can make your hair dry, make it brittle, especially if you're using a drying or a clarifying shampoo. So just be careful with that. The next tip is to look for a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. Now me, I personally like to use the African Pride. Um, it's like a two in one. It's like a shampoo and a conditioner all in one, but there are a lot of shampoos that I like, but that's definitely one of my favorites because when you use um, moisturizing shampoos, it just helps to put that moisture in your hair and it helps my hair, like relaxed hair can sometimes be naturally dry because of chemical use. So making sure that I use a moisturizing shampoo or a shampoo that does not have any sulfates in it you know that's just going to help me retain my moisture if you do need to use a sulfate shampoo i would just say to use it when you feel like your hair is like it's really really dirty or you got like a lot of product build up that would be a good time to use a sulfate shampoo but other than that i would say try your best to find like a non-sulfate shampoo so the next tip is to use a leave-in conditioner. Now, I always use a leave-in conditioner on my wash days. You can use a liquid leave-in or a cream leave-in. Depending on how I'm gonna wear my hair, um, depends on which kind of leave-in I'm gonna use. I normally use a liquid leave-in, but if I know I'm gonna have a protective hairstyle in my hair, like for a few weeks, I will use more of a creamy leave-in because to me, the creamy one leaves the hair moisturized for longer, but the liquid one, it's good for like, if I wanna flat iron my hair and wear it down, you know, I don't have to worry about my hair being stiff with the liquid one. So I normally apply that right after I um, do my wash date, but right before I blow dry my hair. So the next tip is to get your trims regularly. I am definitely guilty of not doing that. Me, <laughs> I get my trims whenever my hair starts to look see-through or like ratty at the ends, like if it looks rough at the ends. Um, it's generally suggested that you do six to eight weeks, you know, between your trims. But me, I normally go a few months at a time. But and then like when I started when I started noticing that my hair is like uneven or I can see my shirt through my hair or if my ends look like really fuzzy, that's when I tend to do my trims. Another tip is to manage your stress. Stress can definitely affect your hair. A lot of people don't think it can, but it can. I've actually documented on my channel where I've had a bald spot in the top of my head before because of stress. So definitely try to de-stress. If you need to do meditation, yoga, journal, go for walks, um, listen to music, you know, whatever you do to de-stress, definitely de-stress and try to keep that at bay because it can um, mess with your hormones and that can mess with your hair. So we do not want that at all. Next tip is to use a wide tooth comb when you're detangling your hair. Um, always start from the bottom and go up. Don't never rake through your hair or brush through your hair. Definitely take it slow, take it easy. Um, and the wide tooth, it helps to like eliminate snags in your hair because if you use a fine tooth comb, it's gonna definitely snag on your hair if you're trying to detangle it. So you wanna use a wide tooth comb because that, in my opinion, has been the, um, the healthiest option for detangling my hair with the least amount of breakage. Next tip is to be gentle with your hair. Sometimes we pull and we twist and we try to manipulate our hair into different hairstyles. But at the end of the day, you wanna be really gentle with your hair, especially relaxed hair because relaxed hair is already weakened because of using you know, the chemical to straighten your hair. So just whenever possible, just be gentle with your hair and try not to pull it, or as I stated earlier, like, like manipulating it into tight hairstyles. Last but not least, be patient with your hair. Um, nothing's an overnight miracle. There's no pill to take. There's no miracle growth oil. I don't care what they say on the internet. Um, stuff can help promote hair growth, but nothing is like a miracle, like you're gonna just be Rapunzel tomorrow. So definitely it takes patience, consistency, because a lot of people ask like, how have you grown your hair so fast? Literally, patience, 
consistency and just keep doing your routine whatever your routine is find you a good regimen and just keep doing that even if you don't see results right right away just stay consistent and don't give up so those are just some of the tips that i have um if you have any additional tips definitely definitely leave them down below <laughs> um yeah so if you guys have and also don't forget to check out the um Use my coupon code, get you some extra dollars off because it's already affordable. With my coupon code, it's even more affordable, okay? So win-win. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.